Hello, my name is Jonathan Dixon, Vice President of OTC Markets Group. Today, I'm joined by Martino De Ciccio, Vice President of Strategy and Investor Relations at Endeavour Mining. Endeavour Mining trailed in the OTC QX Best Market under ticker EDVMF. Martino, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jonathan and uh, OTC QX for hosting us today. No problem. Martino, can you talk about Endeavour Mining's recently announced acquisition of Taranga and the strategic rationale behind the transaction? This is a transaction which offers both compelling industrial rationale and compelling capital markets rationale. So starting with the first one, industrial logic, I mean, this combines two groups with strong presence in West Africa. Therefore, it enhances our position in West Africa, creating the largest West African gold producer, but moreover, it leverages on our strong operating platform in West Africa. We have a team that's based in Abidjan, capital Ivory Coast, with strong technical expertise based here. Therefore, being able to insert more assets uh, into this platform means that we're able to leverage off of synergies uh, and have more in-country present. Uh, this strengthens our relationship with government and it positions us to be the go-to name for both governments and investors for West Africa. The assets themselves are all very you know, high, highly complementary. Looking at each of the three assets on the Taranga side, first is their uh, flagship asset in Senegal, Masawa Sabodala complex. This is one of the highest quality assets in West Africa, currently not sitting within the major producer in the region. Masawa Sabodala will become Endeavor's flagship asset with a production of over 400,000 ounces per year. It also diversifies ourselves into a third jurisdiction, Therefore, we will have production diversified across eight producing assets and three countries, Senegal, Ivory Coast, and Burkina Faso. Their second mine, Wangyong in Burkina Faso, allows us to have 600,000 ounces of production across three mines along the Hunde Belt. There are significant synergies that we can therefore extract. It's the equivalent of what others have done in Nevada or the ABTB Belt. Looking at their third asset, Golden Hill. For Taranga, this is a standalone project with already over 1 million ounces. For us, given it's located within trucking distance to our Hunde plant, this represents for us immediate synergies. Rather than looking at it as a standalone project, this can be operated as a satellite operation to Hunde, leveraging our plant and existing infrastructure and teams. Looking at the exploration portfolio, it also brings a FEMA, an advanced stage exploration property in Ivory Coast, which we expect to have made in resources there early next year. Overall, this increases the quality of our portfolio, bringing on board, as I mentioned, Masawa Sabodala and uh, immediate cash flow from the uh, Wangyong operation. Given that all the assets are located in the same area, as I mentioned before, we're able to leverage our operating teams and have strong synergies across not only corporate GNA and in-country GNAs, but also at the mine levels, given the proximity between Wangyong, Hunde, and Golden Hill. Okay, thank you. Martino, from your perspective as a global leader, what do you see as being the primary drivers for continued investment in the space and why gold remains such a popular commodity? It's been a great year for a gold price. Uh, and what's interesting is that it's actually reacted exactly how you would expect it to react under the environment it's in. So it's reacted well to COVID uh, as a safe haven investment. Uh, it's expected to continue to react well to the fact that governments are printing money. Uh, so we expect it to continue to be a favorable environment for the gold price going into next year and the year after. I believe that there's strong rationale right now for gold producers themselves. Uh, the, the, the valuations for gold producers have never been so attractive on a dividend yield basis, on a free cash flow yield. Uh, the companies are in their strongest position they've ever been. In the last run, the balance sheets were uh, over levered. Today, gold companies are, are delevered, paying healthy cash flows, uh, paying healthy dividends, uh, and looking at growth, not for the sake of growth, but for the sake of increasing their margins. From a generalist standpoint, we're also seeing many new investors into the space. This is an interesting time of the year. Funds are looking at rebalancing themselves into the new year. 
the S&P uh, index is now made up of 2% for gold producers. Uh, many funds are underweight uh, producers into their funds. Therefore, we expect that this rebalancing will occur in the following months and into the new year, which should be a strong catalyst for gold equities going forward. Great, thank you. Still a very strong case for gold. Martino, in addition to being listed on the TSX, Endeavor Mining has been trading on OTCQX and in the US public market since 2012. How has this been beneficial as far as broadening visibility among your investor base? It's very important to first create an investable company, and that is all about having the right assets in place. Therefore, over the last several years, we've been divesting more faulty assets, building up flagship assets, and doing transformative m and activities. On top of that, it's important for investors to be able to buy your shares. Uh, and for this, we've seen strong benefits in having this OTCQX listed. It enables specifically retail shareholders not able to buy shares in Canada to be able to access our capital. Going beyond the TSX and OTCQX listing, we recently announced our intent to list on the UK market on the LSC as a premium issue. This will further enhance our capital markets profile and enable European shareholders to also access our capital. Martino, thank you for your time today. We wish yourself and Endeavour Mining all the best in the future. Jonathan, thank you very much for hosting us today. We, we look forward to our next interview. Great, thank you.